Hey, it's Sam from the Gaming Testament. You may recognise me from the Guild Wars 2 series with Morgan. And I'm starting my first solo series today with The Lord of the Rings Online. Now, I'm not a complete noob at this game. I have played it quite thoroughly. And I'm just going to be taking you through some gameplay. So first, obviously, it's the character creation. Something that every MMO has. And this is what the man, female, looks like of a burglar class. And of course, the man, which you've already seen. Bree Town casting behind him. Which is primarily... Freeland is really where you start off as a man. It's Captain Armor, Champion Armor, Guardian Armor, Hunter Armor, Law Master Armor, Minstrel Armor. Um, you can't play as a Rune Keeper, but you can play as a Warden or a man. Now, Dwarfs, of course, they are famous for the fact that there are no females, but there have been female Dwarves mentioned. The Champion Garden, Hunter, they look a bit ridiculous though. Minstrel and Rune Keeper, and for the record, Dwarf Rune Keepers are amazing. Now, everyone's favourite species, the Hobbit, with the Shire laying behind the doors at Thorin's Hall, is the Hunter, the Minstrel, which is really the best Hobbit class, and the Warden. Now, Owls are very popular on this game, they're very popular on many fan seats, but of course it's going to be very popular on Lord of the Rings Online. There's the Runekeeper, the Minstrel, and the Minstrel heal by playing music. Hunters, Guardians, Champions, are all just fighters. And I've, I've neglected to show you Hobbit females, which are very cool. But... In spite of these cool species, I think, really, we're going to play as a man in this series now. I think we should play as Captain. They are a very cool class, despite being DPS and wearing some awesome armor, they can also support the group. And we found the Breland, Dale Lands, Gondor, Rohan. My other character, Man Champions from Rohan, so going to be from the Dale Lands. Now, the character customization process isn't particularly complex, but... It is very fun, and it really it does make you allow you to customize a character to your own. Go for that head, go that his style. No, no face on him. And mm, yes, yeah, that mouth. And I think is there a battle scar somewhere? There must be. I'm gonna give him brown eyes. Leave the hair. Now, if I zoom out, should be able to adjust the body type to steroids or no food. In the middle, as I said before, Bree Town lying behind him. Now all I have to do is name the character Forthon. It might sound a bit more Lord of the Rings with an R. And that name is taken, so we're going to try a different random randomized name. And Branquin. That's a very nice name. So we're going to. Yep, that's available. So this is the level one man character. So all I have to do is to enter, enter Middle Earth. Now, unfortunately. My Lord of the Rings takes quite a long time to load sometimes, and it's going to now. Um, so I can just talk to you about the general game. Um, I'm going to be doing a whole series. I'm hoping to go to end game with this guy, just like we're home to with Guild Wars 2. At the making of this video, we've fallen quite behind. We're really trying to v revamp the channel 2013, and um, you know, try, just try and get back into it, try and upload more videos. I know that Morgan's planning on doing some Team Fortress 2 stuff, um, and we did say there were two other guys, there is now three other guys, and two of them are yet, well three of them are yet to make a series, um, one of them does have his own channel, you can check him out, read the label always, he's only done I think two or three episodes in a Minecraft series, but he has done some episodes, so if you want to get a sneak peek of what his videos will be like. You can look there. And I know Will wants to do some Empire, Star Wars, The Old Republic stuff. We really are, you know, New Year, trying to become a better channel. Now, I'm on free-to-play, but I know for a fact that becoming a VIP is very easy. As for free-to-play, you can continue doing the story the wherever you are, and I'll talk to you about this later. But I am in Blackwall Jail in Arket, and I just met Strider, who, as you should know, yourself. is of course Aragon. Or Aragon, even. Aragon, surname of one of Henry VIII's wives. Now, I'm getting a tiny bit of lag, so, yeah, I'll adjust it to very high, and click accept. There, and still a bit, but I'll just handle it for now. So I have to loot this satchel, and by opening it, I find Rusty Claymore. It's a long sword. And by opening my inventory, now Rusty Claymore has 47 damage, but my weak mace had 1 to 2. So I'm going to wield the sword. Now I need to practice my combat with Strider. 
Now, I'm not going to kill him, obviously, he's such a huge part of the trilogy. So it's just going to be a quick practice, so if I now wield my two-handed longsword in the same time Strider does, and that's already it. Now, that fiery ring is in release, well, it, it's, it well means that that's where the objective is for the story quests rather than the mini quests. Now, VI, if you're free to play, um, you need to use the in-game currency turbine points to purchase quest packs, which is in certain areas, which does not um, mean the story, it means the mini quests, which are a huge part of leveling up. I'm pretty sure that if you're a VIP, you do not have to buy quest packs, so you get so much more out of the game. Ooh, gosh, what's going on here? Ooh, good gosh. Oh my gosh. This really never happens. I've glitched. This means probably I have to reduce my graphics. It never happens, but it could be because I'm recording. So, if I speed to Strider, I'm gonna go to options, gonna go to advanced graphics. Of course, everyone knows that shadows are the bane of your life. So I'm gonna turn off blob shadows, um, lower sensor shadows down to low, uh, dynamic shadows. I'm gonna disable, and that should be okay now. It still looks good enough. So I need to defeat Kalendine's captors and me and Stride apart temporarily. Where do you come from? So this is a Black Gold Ruffian, level 1, he's dead already. So from killing people, as always, um, you gain experience and by pressing tab, which I just did, you can get onto the enemy closest to you. I sent for a jumping attack there. But another Black Gold Ruffian, dead. Right, if I pass through this gate, Drama is going on in front of me. That's another black gold ruffian. He is hiding the hobbit, well, capturing the hobbit even, that I need to get to. And here he is, he's dead. Wow, that's very insulting. Poor him. So I've got to defeat Mundo, which I believe to be her wife. I've got to defeat her capture, his capture even. And what on earth is she doing? Oh, I see. So. Wait, where'd you go? Oh gosh, she's fast. So I'm just gonna follow her through this gate, past the past this fire. Now the black walls, huge part probably of the first 15 to 20 levels of the man's story, especially in Bree Town, Bree Land. Even you may be able to find them in the Shire. I'm not sure, but they're a massive gang, and they're gonna give you some trouble. So. There is some action going on behind me, I really need to turn around. What am I doing? Key's stuck. There we go. I'm terribly sorry about that. So here's Mundo. Oh, they, they can't be married. Maybe they're brother and sister or something, and she got married to change the surname. So they're gonna find Strider and Amdia. Amdia is a bigger part of this story than you even realize and if you go around this corner yeah that's a black rider he's he's got Andy right in front of him yeah Andy is somehow managing to fight him off he's trying his best with fire you know because Nazgul really hate fire but down Andy it goes and uh oh he spotted the halflings well the hobbits I don't know why halfling seems a tiny bit racist to me um Never quite understood why. It just doesn't seem quite right. And ooh, well, I'm not muscle. I'm probably as tall as you. All right. So once he's left, I need to go and talk to Amdia. He does not look right. So let's go talk to Amdia. Now I must talk to Strider as Amdia collapsed to the ground. And I finish I now. And here's a cinematic now, which is at the end of every story and since so you can watch this. Wounded by a black rider, the ranger Amdir escaped with his charges into the wild, making his way back to the village of Archit. There, Captain Brackenbrook, a retired sellsword, has allowed Strider and his companions to stay and take respite from their cares. And that's Tom Bombadil's house. Around level 15, 16, you'll head over to the Barrow Downs of the Old Forest. Do a lot of fun story quests with him. You may be able to do some minis as well. Not sure, it's been so long since I've done that with my man champion. 
So, so, well, that's really it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'm really looking forward to getting this series done. Town of, well, Village of Arket should be loading up now. And, well, thanks for watching. And I will be seeing you soon.